we present a case of transanal total mesorectal excision and laparoscopic lower anterior resection with on block resection of the small intestine and ovaries for locally advanced rectal cancer using a two team approach. A 76 year old woman presented at the emergency department with abdominal pain. Her laboratory findings showed CEA at 2.9 nanogram per milliliter, CA199 at 66.4 units per milliliter and CA-125 at 38.2 units per milliliter. She had not undergone any previous abdominal surgeries. Colonoscopy revealed a circumferential rectal tumor. Adenocarcinoma was diagnosed by biopsy. A contrast-enhanced CT scan revealed rectal wall thickening lesions and invasion into the small intestine and ovaries with no metastasis. Therefore, the decision for laparoscopic lower anterior resection with on block resection of the small intestine and ovaries was made for the treatment of locally advanced rectal cancer. A 3 cm incision was made at the umbilicus and an EZ access was placed. An additional 12 mm trocar was inserted into the left quadrant, and three 5 mm trocars were also inserted. The transanal approach was simultaneously started by the transabdominal team. We plan to perform a rendezvous procedure on the Dinan Villiers fascia. We found that the tumor involved the small intestine and the uterus. First, Transection of the proximal small intestine was performed using a laparoscopic linear stapler. The mesentery of the small intestine was dissected using a vessel sealing system. Transection of the distal small intestine was performed using a laparoscopic linear stapler. The broad ligament of the ovary was dissected using a vessel sealing device. Ligation of the right ovary artery using a vessel sealing device. The vesico-uterine pouch was dissected to separate it from the bladder. The left ureter was identified dorsal to left ovarian artery and the left ovarian artery was dissected. We confirm the anterior vaginal fornix. An incision was made in the anterior vaginal wall. The posterior vaginal wall was detached using a laparoscopic vessel sealing device. Closure of the vaginal wall using verbed sutures. Medial to lateral approach. 
The inferior mesentery artery was sealed and divided along with lymph node dissection. Ligation of the inferior mesentery vein. The posterior rectum was transferred while preserving the TME plane. Transanal approach with two teams. After closure of the rectum with purse string sutures, a full thickness cut of the rectum was made. After longitudinal muscle transection, the TME plane was exposed. The rectourethralis muscle was then dissected. Exposure of Denon Villiers fascia. Denon Villiers fascia was incised and rendezvoused intraperitoneally in combination with the transabdominal approach. Removing the attachments of posterior rectum, specimen retraction was performed via an umbilical incision. Anastomosis was constructed with a circular stapling technique followed by a single stapler technique. Following the anastomosis, a leak test was performed to confirm the anastomosis under an air seal. The operative time was 397 minutes and blood loss was 600 milliliter. The post-operative course was marked by surgical site infection which improved with negative pressure wound treatment. The patient was discharged on post-operative day 25. Post-operative histological examination revealed a descending adenocarcinoma T4B, small intestine, N0, M0. Six months after surgery, the patient had no recurrence.